Hi, my name is Vijay from Tata Trust India and I have been selected for this program on international training on policies, strategies and support systems in rural revitalization organized by Mashav and conducted at the White Center of Sustainability at Israel. I have been working over the last 26 days with a team of four members across various countries. Mr. Yintun from Myanmar, Ms. Hana from Vietnam, Ms. Dorothy from Kenya, and Ms. Krishna from Angola, on a project called as Hunger Free Maharashtra to combat malnutrition in the country of India. As you are aware that food is a basic necessity for human existence and fighting hunger is a key to the elimination of malnutrition. India is the second most populous country in the world after China and has been grappled with this problem of malnutrition in recent times. A recent survey on global food or global hunger index has positioned India in the 97th place out of 112 countries. And this is a worrisome factor for the government. This was positioned based on indexes like wasting, stunting, and anemia in children and pregnant and lactating women. It is one of government's mandate to provide a hot cooked meal to these children and pregnant women on a daily basis. But due to lack of timely availability of food, mal malnutrition is on a rampant rise. And this is creating a big problem. Tata Trust is one of the oldest philanthropic organizations in the country and it's redefining itself as a direct implementer and has come forward to combat this problem by strengthening the existing government's food program. The objective is to strengthen the program by creating a facility which can provide food using a technology called RTE or a retort, which would be useful to increase the shelf life of the product. By doing so, not only the shelf life increases, the food remains safe, fresh and without any preservatives and additives. The main challenge in this program is to understand and to find how we can overcome the cultural differences and the palate differences of different societies. In addition to that, we also want to understand how we can overcome the cost of production to such a large masses of people when the technology itself is quite expensive. Our endeavor is to see that if we can create this kind of a program by producing for large masses, the cost of production would come down. We would like you all to join us in this endeavor and help us to make this program a success. Thank you.